we are at part of an immense tangled web of multi-species relationships. We all live in one ecosystem and resonate with each other. From a city perspective, it very often seems that the human being is the most important part of it. But still, even in the very center of the city, remain places that put this point of view into question. Places so swampy and overgrown that humans can only appear there as guests. One such place, called Zakoleva Verskie, is situated at the former meander of the Vistula River. It has been once used as wet pastures and arable land, but since several years, the peat bog is overgrown by dense alder car from the north and vast reeds from the south. Mosses, alders, spiders, reeds, mosquitoes, snails, boars, ants, beavers, and water have the main voice here. From the very beginning, we wanted to understand this place and find a way of narrating it with consideration to other than human perspectives. Our first intuition was to do it through direct experience, through being on the site. But Zakola is a very wild and inaccessible habitat, also very sensitive. This is why we needed to mediate, find tools that do not disrupt its fragility. We have collected different stories from Zakola and gathered them into a form of a website. The materials are organized in a non hierarchical manner, which enables creations of personal arrangements and classifications. The material consists of conversation records, documentations of small meetings, and experimental methodology. The website connects stories from biological sciences and humanities, artistic narrations, and intimate neighborly perspectives. It is an attempt to build a common space for both scientists, artists, and neighbors. We also underline the context of the climate catastrophe and the importance of such places in resisting climate change. We continue inviting people connected to Zakole to co-create its contents. We hope the website will be a support in advocating for the preservation of this ecosystem. The materials that are being published reflect physical actions related to Zakola or events happening directly on the spot, such as experimental walks, interviews, exercises and workshops involving various cognitive techniques. The aim of their virtual presence is to extend the scope of this intimate and attentive events. We hope that the contents of the website will gradually expand, layering with new perspectives and eventually becoming a peculiar kind of encyclopedia, a knowledge repository of this place. But there is also another layer in this story, a deep and ongoing conflict about land ownership is developing for over 30 years. The landowners urge the city to make a decision on the future of this terrain, either allowing constructions or financing buyouts of the plots they own. For many people, Zakole remains a synonym of neglect and danger. Through the website, we would like to give an opportunity to look at this place from a different angle and experience it from many different perspectives, also those non-human ones.